Hey guys, my name is Richard. I'm a second year student at the University of Toronto. I realize it's already May, but we still can't go outside because of quarantine. It sucks, but it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good quarantine. Today, I want to answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking me a lot lately, which is how to select the right courses slash electives for yourself. I know choosing courses can be really hard, especially because there are so many courses that you can choose from. And because we all heard how hard U of T courses are, I know that you guys are very hesitant on which courses to take. So today I'll tell you guys how I chose my courses in my first year and some of my own tips of choosing the right courses for yourself. So first I'm going to start off with one of the easier steps. So if you're in a program that has required or recommended courses, the first thing that you guys have to do is to enroll in these classes. So look for the class code that you have to take. And these class code starts with three alphabets and ends with three numbers. So for example, microeconomics is ECO 101, which is ECO 101. Another example can be psychology, PSY100, Psych100. Every class in U of T has a special class code, and many students, TAs, and professors often refer to class by the class code instead of saying the full class name. That's because it's so much easier to say Eco 101 rather than microeconomics. So it'll be good to memorize these class codes, especially for your required and recommended courses. So the first step is to get used to using class codes and enrolling in your required and recommended courses. Now, once you enrolled in these recommended and required courses, the next step is to calculate how many electives you need to choose. So depending on how many required and recommended courses that your program requires you to take, you'll have to choose different number of electives accordingly. Generally, in order to graduate from U of T in four years, it is recommended that you take five credit worth of classes, and that is 2.5 credits per semester, which is five courses. For me, being a Rotman student, I only have to take one credit worth of electives, which was either one full year course or two half year courses. Oh, and I think it's important to tell you guys that one full year course is equal to one full credit and one half year course is equal to 0.5 credits. So please keep that in mind. Once you have calculated how many electives you need to take, then go to the UFT's website and download the course calendar. I don't know if they released the calendar for this year yet, so I'll show you guys the calendar I used, which was a 2019 to 2020 calendar. So this is the course calendar, and this calendar consists of all the details of courses and all the courses in different studies. I still don't know why they call this a calendar because it's just a big list of courses that you can take, but it's a really big PDF that consists of all the courses that you can choose. All the requirements for breadth requirement and other requirements are all on this PDF as well. So I highly recommend that you guys look over this calendar, but not gonna lie, it's really boring, but it's super helpful at the same time. So as you saw, that calendar is really helpful. And using this calendar, pick up some of the courses that intrigues you. I know that this calendar is really long and boring, but using this calendar, you'll be able to choose all the courses that you're interested in. So go through this calendar step by step and write down the course name and the class code on a piece of paper. This way, once you have gone through all the options, you'll be left with the courses that you're really, really interested in. Now using this paper, rearrange or number these courses in an order that you're most interested in. Remember that the number of courses that you need to take will be different for each student because as we talked about earlier, different programs require a different number of required and recommended courses. So once you're done rearranging these courses, the final step is to do a little bit of research on the courses that you're interested in. The course may have interested you at first, but by doing this further research, you can then be able to tell if you really like the course or if you're just intrigued at first. So it's really important to do this further research because with this step, you will then be able to tell if you really like the course or not. And finally, after you've gone through this whole process and you still like the course, you can pat yourself in the back because congratulations, you just picked the right courses for yourself. So to summarize this video for you guys, first, get used to the class codes and look for any required and recommended courses for your program. Second, based on step one, calculate how many electives that you need to choose. Third, download the course calendar and look at all the options that are available for you. Fourth, when you pick out the courses that you like, do further research on these courses because that'll tell you if you really like the course or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. As always, if you guys have any more questions, suggestions, or any funny things that you guys want to say to me, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys like this kind of content, please let me know as well. I really enjoy reading all your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye-bye.